Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's Team Unlimited Elevation Call, and today is a new month of September, and welcome to everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, this is my favorite collection of people, and um, it's wonderful to see you guys. I had the privilege of um, a quick, quick trip, 36 hours in Evansville, and so that was just, Susan, thank you for you and Judy just dropping everything um, to hang out, spend time, and uh, that was another one of the blessings of uh, Labor Day for me. So um, we had a little round table, which was so much fun, and we hope to do more of that in the future. But um, but yeah, you guys might never know exactly how much that you mean to me. But um, I was I'm reading a book. I'm actually reading a couple of books right now, and many of you guys know that I took a job in April. Um, at the Walton Family Whole Health and Fitness Center in Bentonville, Arkansas. It's a, it's a bucket list job, but it's still a corporate job. And, and I work way more than I really want to. <laughs> so um, it, but within that, there there's some of the benefits are really being introduced to a lot of whole health modalities. And this, um, we actually have two book clubs going on at the same time. And so one of the books um, that we're reading is called Dare to Lead with Brene Brown, which is phenomenal. And how many of you guys have heard of Brene Brown? So if you've not heard of her, she has the most watched TED Talk on shame and vulnerability. She's a very prolific author. I actually saw her in Nashville, Deborah, um, several years ago. Just she's a great speaker. I, I, I don't know, for some reason, I just I love her writing and I've followed her for years. But now she's taking all of her research that she's done on shame and vulnerability, and she's applying that to corporate America. So it's just kind of cool that I'm in a corporate setting and, and I'm reading this book now. Um, anybody who's been in corporate America or just wants to learn about leadership and and courageous leadership, it's, it's a great book. But the other book is um, it's, it's and I, it's actually I'm li listening to it on audiobook. It's called the TED um, T E D Empowerment book, and it's it's another really fascinating book. And in that book, I was listening to it as I was walking today, and there was a quote that made me kind of stop and and I realized that this is something that I'm not sure that I've ever told you guys in terms of my personal rewards and some of the reasons why this business, this platform, this is a lease company has meant so much to me. Um, because you guys know my story. I was introduced just because my son had health, brain health issues. And, you know, he had an amazing change in his life. And to this day, like I got to spend two visits with Nate this last weekend. Um, it, it's some of the most meaningful minutes for me because I don't talk to him as much as I like living eight hours away. I'm so grateful to the product for helping restore his health. But beyond that, you know, we didn't really know what this business, really what this product, what this industry was going to do when we started back in 2017. And uh, the unintended consequence, the big blessing is that I see each one of your faces now on my screen and feel like you guys are some of the best parts of my family. And the quote that really meant so much to me that I read that made me stop in my tracks was from this book on the TED empowerment was actually, it said, your personal growth will be my reward. And so it made me start thinking about, you know, there's so many rewards that sometimes it's hard to talk to somebody about Zalise, about the platform, because there's so many things that come with that. And, but when I look at Gene Workmeister and Lorena, and I think about Gene, where you guys were, you know, six years ago and where you are now and, and just the personal development, the changes, you know, I look at Susan and know that she's been through some really, really horrific times in her life. And she has been strong and she has helped other people rise through some of the toughest times. And it's, it's that personal development that I think has been my richest reward for starting the team. And so I wanted just to pause and, and I'd love to hear just from each of you guys, like what kind of rewards, when you think about the lease, it could be a product, it could be a business outcome, it could be some relationships, but I want to hear what your biggest takeaway is from Zelise, the rewards that this business model has brought to your life. 
I'll go first, Lisa. And she's going to comment for me because we'll be saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. The biggest uh, and most heartfelt reward that I've gotten from the Zalise opportunity is getting to make sincere friends. Sincere friends that care about you, are interested in what you do, want nothing but to see you succeed. The products are great, but in in life, you don't meet very many people like that. You know, uh, the business that Steve did for 30 years, you know, is very, very competitive. And all people want to do is see you fail. Nobody cares about you in the world. Um, they they just more than anything, they just feed off of your success, negative comments or whatnot. And it's not very fun. But everybody on this call, this business is um, is the friendships and the relationships that's the most powerful thing that I've gotten uh, from that we've gotten from this yeah. business, you know, um, that you, you just don't find it anywhere. And, you know, y'all, the older that you get, we're, we're probably the oldest one on this call, the older that you get, you just take different, you start looking at life a little bit differently and things and stuff that used to bother you, you don't even think about it anymore. All you want to do is just have good friends and people that love you and, and everybody on this call that's what this is about. So um, I didn't, I don't, didn't mean to say so much, but uh, uh, you know, I just love all of y'all. And I love, I look forward to this too, every Sunday night, Lisa, just seeing people that are smiling and looking at us and we care about each other and we know each other. This is, this is awesome. So that is not too much, Jenny. And I thank you so much for sharing that. Dr. Todd, do you have anything you want to share? Well, I, I, I look at Jean Workmeister and and, and, you know, we met uh, at that meeting back in the day when in, we Dallas. in Dallas when we were reorganizing and all that. And, and, and they and they were a pleasure to know then and still are. And just now that we meet regularly, we get to see each other regularly on this basis. And um, I, I think that uh, also something that I think Jenny sort of takes the lead on this business overall with what she does and sponsors and talks and all that. And, but I, I tell you, if 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 uh, I was telling her this today that there's there's a female out there that uh, she's going to sponsor, and I believe that there'll be someone like her. And then I think everybody out in this group means to be able to provide and share this idea with other people because there's somebody that's going to be missed in the, mm -hmm. you have so many people in the world and so many need extra money and we just hold ourselves back and talk to it. and that's that's what it, that's what i mean is just it's it's important to share this so, okay so, thank you so much for that Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing both of you guys. Anybody else want to share what rewards are meaningful to you? I, will. Well, Lisa, I, I just have to say the Todd's nailed it. There, there's no doubt about it. Friendships, you know, Jenny is right on the money. It, it's friendships. We've got friends all over the United States, you know, Please, just from Zalise. And, Please, you know, sir, I mean, stop. Just to find out that, uh, you know, the, the family in, I believe it was Puerto Rico or Colombia, it was in a horrific accident. You know, our hearts went out for them. You know, uh, if you would have said this to me six years ago, you know, I wouldn't have gave a hill of beans for them. But through Zalise, you know, this this means so much to us. And, you know, the personal growth uh, development, you know, yeah, I'm not nowhere where I need to be. But, you know, we're still working on it. Sometimes not as fast as we'd like, but personal development is definitely, definitely helping us out a lot. And, you know, we've just got great friends, our leadership, you know, I mean, all, all the way to the top. You guys are number one. Thank you. Jean, do you mind if I share what you guys have done with that? that I think it was Nicaragua that, that they um, had that fatal crash. Do you mind if I share? I don't mind, but I'll tell you what, don't give me any credit. That was Laurie. Okay. She, she thought of that. So that's all on her. I just wanted to recognize it. I just was very, very touched by your thoughtfulness that you guys sent an email to Zelise to ask if your blessing bonus could be directed toward that family. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's the kind of stuff that just, you know, like touches my heart. Like, thank you for that, for, for, for you and Lori, you know, just, 
number one, that that's your heart. And number two, that we have a company that you guys have earned a blessing bonus through your diligence, consistency, and, and hard work. And so I just was like, that just inspires me greatly. So thank you to both you and Lorena. Susan, I think you were next. Yeah. Um, in addition to the people within the Zalise group, one of the things that uh, has been a great uh, blessing to me are, is the people that I've met outside. I mean, um, one of the first things you pushed me to do, uh, kicked me to do, was uh, to get out and do some professional networking. And via that, I've made a, I've made friends I would never have made otherwise. So I really and I needed to widen my my scope of friends. And so that's really been a blessing to me. And just, you know, so many things have come from that. I mean, the facility that we've moved Carol into, I would never, ever have found had it not been for networking and finding somebody in that group that directed me there. And I can just kind of tell, I could probably tell three or four stories just like that. So that's been a real blessing to me to have to, you know, to widen my circle around me locally. You've, you've been bold in, in your networking. You know, I noticed the Todd's also do networking. I think that's a bold move. It takes a lot of personal courage to stand up in front of a group, whether you're sitting or standing and talk about what you do for a minute mm -hmm. and just be genuinely interested in, in other people or, or nobody has any interest in what you're doing either. So proud of you for that, Susan. You've really taken that to a whole nother level. Don't you be rolling your eyes at me. Mary Barton, I see your hand. Yeah, hi. Um, hi. I don't have any fantastic stories to tell, but I am very grateful because I have my life. I mean, literally, I have my life. I was given a death sentence and was getting better, um, but I couldn't think straight, couldn't move well. And life keeps kicking me in the teeth in one way or the other but i still have this least family i haven't been able to juggle things the way i want to manage control things the way i want to because of a lot of different things that are not in my control gene knows what's been going on <laughs> for the last few months i've had to deal with scabies because oh, my wow. daughter got infested so you can't be around the people and it's very costly and it's very hard to deal with everything and you can't do a lot of things. Um, and a new type, type of isolation, it feels worse than COVID in a lot of ways. <laughs> but I have to also say that the Zelise has helped me feel better. Uh, the new Amalashi, which I still owe Jean and Lori for that, um, <laughs> it's really helped as well. I do like it better than the liquid, which I didn't think I was going to care. I really didn't. But I do feel more of a burst of energy. And like, there's a warning not to tell, you know, to, people say don't take edge too late in the day. I would say that with the Amalaki powder, because it just, it just like, whoa, I was awake and forget about sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that in the morning. It gives me much better boost than it did in the uh, than the liquid, even if I doubled up. And I don't know, um, Jenny and Steve, you're actually the oldest people here. I don't know. I don't think so, but you can think so. <laughs> I think a few of us have you beat. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really grateful to be here, and I'm glad you haven't given up on me, and I'm grateful for that. Um, and I do keep reaching out and sharing with people, not always with the results that I want, but I, you know, it's the dripping of the water and being a friend first and that I'm comfortable with. I'm not great on networking with social networking. Um, yeah, it's going to take a, a, an act of God probably for that, but it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, thank you so much, Mary. And we do think that you, your life is worth a lot. That is a very powerful story that the fact that you are alive and, <clears throat> and that you've gone through so much and uh, we're just grateful to be a part of your healing journey. So thank you for sharing that. Judy Baker. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, Susie and I were talking before this tonight about what time the next meeting would be after tonight. And I will be out of town for the next two weeks. 
So I was telling her, either way, I'm going to have to miss the next one. And I don't like missing it. I like hearing the work stories. I like getting the information. I like the connection, even though it's long distance. Um, it, it helps. It really does to know that I'm not the only one out there telling the story and doing things. Um, I love the idea that I can help people um, find something that makes them feel better. And I've had a couple of success stories that way, and that makes me feel good. And then I was able to help somebody do this and and uh, save them money on it. So it just, I just, I like being able to help people. And of course, obviously, this this the probably the ice as far as the product has done me the most good because I had some nerves that were inflamed and, and giving me static and, and they don't anymore. So, um, I just, yeah, I just, I like the group. We like you too, Judy. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not growing the business as quickly as I'd like to, but I talk to people. Oh, one other thing, the other twice now in the last month or two, somebody has posted on Facebook. Remember when we were kids and we could go to sleep and now I turn like a rotisserie chicken. And both times I have posted on there, I've made the comment, thank goodness I don't do that anymore. Ask me how. Had one Curiosity. Person, yeah, I had one person get back to me. So, you know, it's... <laughs> Just, that is great, Judy. I mean, it's yeah. so great not to give them the information unless they ask you for it. So yeah. you must have a pretty savvy sponsor. I, I do. She's really, she's really very good and encouraging. Well, it was great to see you in Evansville. And uh, I'm so glad we're recording this because I, I love your comments. Very, thank very you. profound. And thank you so much for that. Appreciate it, Judy. We're going to miss you. Won't be the same without you on the call. Yeah. Too bad. I'm sorry. Too bad. You've got your plans. Yeah. Well, you know, sorry, not sorry. I'm going to be in Hawaii. So sorry. <laughs> Take pictures. I will. Okay. But I'll miss Any you. Other I will miss you too, Judy. Anybody else want to share a reward from the Zelise journey? I will. Deborah? <laughs> um, kind of ditto with a lot of people saying that I enjoy the call that we get on every week. I appreciate it yours and how's work to get us all together. It gives us encouragement and um, everybody just kind of helps everybody. And that's rare. Like uh, Jenny said, it's rare to find that other people want to support everybody. Uh, it's not competitive. Sure. You want to do really good and you want to improve yourself, but everybody's there to help you. You're always there to help anytime that we need help. Um, the ultracell gave me my life back because I wasn't sleeping because of my breast cancer and the hormone blockers they put me on for six years um, within a month. And ultracell was the only thing we had. And within a month, I was back getting my sleep. And now we have Dream and r, &R so that helps too. But I don't know if I would have lived through without sleep. I was still working at the time. I worked with special ed students, so that requires a lot of physical and mental capability, and it was wearing me out. So within a month, it was great that I was getting up and feeling great and uh, just meeting new people, uh, the, the self-development, reading books, and I'm not afraid to talk to people about anything, doctors included. Um, most of them don't know any more than I do, so I... <laughs> I feel sure. pretty smart when I talk to them, um, but I just enjoy the friendship and meeting new people. And of course the products and the, the uh, free products help too, because I can share that with others. And also the bonus that we get, we have the capability of giving to other people that don't aren't as fortunate, or maybe they need medication that they couldn't afford. Um, we deal with the nonprofit too, so we can give money towards the nonprofit. So, I just love you guys and look forward to every other week <laughs> on the call. Thank you, Deborah. We love you too. I'm here, but I don't know if you can see or hear me. Connie. I can hear you, Connie Green. 
<laughs> I don't know where I am on this thing. Anyway. Well, we just we don't see your 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 beautiful face, but we can hear yeah. your voice. Okay. Um my my pluses are just the whole gang, the whole group. Um it's family. Mm. And you do the best that you can do for family. They never leave you. They are, they're always there. Uh, I've been through a lot of emotional things here lately and the vibe is getting me through. Um, the, uh, I can never remember the word. What's the one for the giant? <laughs> um, ah. Anyway, the powder that I use in the morning and mix with water and then I'm going to put the... Uh, Edge um, or Amalaki or... Amalaki and the, what's the other one that's for weight. Oh, glow? No. Burn. Burn. That's it. Why can I not remember burn? Ah. Anyway, I'm mixing those two together and it has changed my whole attitude toward food, which is a good thing because <laughs> I love food. And Connie, do you want to tell us why I almost didn't recognize you when you came to our round table? <laughs> I've lost 15 pounds so far. And that's, she looks that's good. I'm, amazing. I'll be happy with 15 more and... Hopefully I'll stop there. I don't know. Maybe not. Then I'll get a facelift and then who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. Ah, well, I thank you. And I enjoyed just being with you the last meeting that I got to attend. And it's just, like I said, it's family. Um, just, I wouldn't know any of you otherwise. And I wouldn't live without you. Well, we love you too, Connie. And and I, I love what you said that, that, has changed your relationship with food. Yes. That's a very powerful statement because it's not like you just lost weight. Yeah. But well, when I when I look at the refrigerator and I choose granola and a uh, yogurt instead of all the other stuff that's in there, I think, well, good for you because I enjoy that. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just uh, it's in your head. You just got to change your change your mindset. That's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. And we're so grateful that you're part of our tribe. <laughs> thank you. Anybody else want to share before we switch topics? Yes, Marsha. Hey, girl. Hello, everyone. I still feel like I'm the newbie on the block here in this group. So I will. You kind of are. I kind of still am, huh? Okay. Uh, but I also look forward to these calls. I feel like this is my little virtual family of like-minded people. And yeah. um, I think my biggest rewards so far have been just like professional and personal healing because I was really burned out in the nursing world and just switching gears and kind of learning more about holistic practices and using them myself and then getting into a community that really advocates for um, the use of holistic measures for health and wellness um, has been really, really powerful. And I love everybody's stories. I could just, if we could just do like a call and everybody has told stories all night, I would, I would totally get down for that because every one of us knows somebody that this, these things have helped. And it's just even more powerful when we share the stories. I think it builds a lot of compassion for community, um, people that we don't even know, like the unfortunate scenario that happened in Latin America. Um, so yeah, all those things together, I think we just keep wanting then to go out and serve others and hopefully bring, they'll, they'll accept these products and find out you know, that they can help you. And I think that's my last one would be just the people that I've signed up hearing their stories and seeing you know that they don't have migraines anymore or you know they don't have that ache and aches and pains in their joints and whatever is super super rewarding so I think I think Lisa for hunting me down <laughs> and, and constantly talking to me until I finally said yes <laughs> well if we could be super honest Marsha I have tremendous professional respect for but she was very skeptical so, like 
and and that's you know honestly you you just kept moving forward but mm -hmm. we're so grateful to have you as part of our team Marsha and you know what's great is just I know the level at which you scrutinize this professionally scientifically you know from a person standpoint and that, that gives me a lot of satisfaction knowing that with your super high standards that everything checked out and and your that's when one of your superpowers is just your credibility and it's been awesome getting to talk to april as well and i have now an idea for next sunday's call is story night mm -hmm. so i want you guys to bring now that judy's gone <laughs> Judy, we'll do it again. But I just think it's a great idea. The stories are so powerful. And I think that they're most powerful when we can keep them at no more than two minutes, just so that we don't get caught up in, you know, people have this much attention these days, including me. So just a very concise story. Um, you know, and I think of just Lorena Workmeister is one of the most powerful stories of transformation that I've seen and heard. And so, Jean, I don't know if she'd be available to share that um, next Sunday, but um, I just would love for us to at least create that tradition. Marsha, that's a great idea. Thanks. Beautiful. We have time for maybe one more. Anybody else want to share a reward? Hey. There she is. How are you? I'm good. Look at you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. So I heard my name. <laughs> <laughs> so I will tell you what my reward is, but it has been the best thing this year. <laughs> it sounds really silly, but we've got to take our grandson to the creation museum and the ark encounter mm -hmm. two times and we're planning on doing it a third time to ground him in the word of god mm -hmm. and i'm healthy enough to do it and um go yeah. short short uh probably seven years ago mary barton and uh rhonda knew and they thought that i was probably gonna not be here by now because I wasn't going to be healthy enough um, because I was that far gone with my autoimmune disease and um, by a silk thread we found Zelise and mm -hmm. um, so it's changed our lives mm -hmm. for the good <laughs> for the good so not cured this heat has been kicking my bum but instead of being in bed for three days, I'm sitting down for three hours and then I'm pretty much where good to go. Mm -hmm. So um, I do I honestly tell people, no, it doesn't cure. But you know what? Seven years ago, it's given me seven years mm -hmm. and time with our grandson. Oh, yeah. So I hope that is that such, that's such a beautiful story, Lorena. And having been the one to see your transformation, see where you were before and see where you guys are now. It's, I, I love this, the hearts, Marsha's given hearts, but it makes every ounce of challenge that it has been for us to hold the line and stay with this company through the hardest of times yeah. worthwhile, just for your story. It definitely makes us all stronger. Absolutely. That's a very, very profound statement. So thank you for sharing. It brings tears to my eyes, Lorena. So I love your emotion. Uh, good quote, you guys, when we have strong emotion, it's because we care so much. It's It comes from deep caring and passion and we feel that from you. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you for jumping on, Lorena. Woo! I tell you what, guys, y'all move me and... Um, and you have shaped my life. And it, let me just tell you that, you know, I am now working at one of the most elite institutions in Northwest Arkansas. And they don't hold a candle to the leadership on this call. And I'm just blown away by how lacking a traditional corporate America, even a whole health institute is in their lackadaisical attitude toward their employees 
the fact that they don't develop people. I mean, it is a rough, rough world out there. And I'm so grateful that we have each other and we have the ability to extend this privilege to people who we feel like would fit. And um, I just have one quick story and then I, I wanna just kind of talk a little bit about Amalaki and vibe. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna kind of tell on myself, like I sometimes struggle with follow-up on with people. Like I love enrolling people and then I forget about them. <laughs> so um, I, I, I really struggle to try to like, you know, follow up with people. And one gentleman I texted, he's, he's been on product for maybe six weeks vibe and I, he has pain issues. And so I, I got him on vibe and I texted him and didn't hear back. Then I like, Oh, I kind of forget about it. Um, but I got a message from him and he's like, Hey, you know, I'm here, you know, let's talk. And so I was able to reconnect with him this weekend and I said, so how, how, what are you noticing with vibe? And he goes, I have to be totally honest. I haven't noticed a thing like zero. And I'm like, so what about the topical? And he's like, well, it's making my feet burn. And I'm like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that where you're just like, you're certain the products are going to just do a certain thing for somebody and they're just not doing it. And I'm like, well, I said, here's the thing. I said, you know, it's taken you X number of years to develop the neuropathy and the, the issues that you have. So I want you to give this time. I want you to believe enough to give it 90 days, because what we've seen is that you need time to heal. And it's the damage is probably so profound that you're not going to be able to tell on. And, and Judy, I did ask him to add the ultra ice today. So that's, that's a good encouragement. I thought, you know, right now he's just using vibe and topical let's add the ultra ice but here's what it's the unintended consequence of me forcing myself to have a conversation that was not totally pleasant like i don't know if you've ever felt that way where somebody's like you know you told me that this was going to help me and it really hasn't done it yet he goes you know the weird thing is he goes um my mom and another friend of mine are are kind of interested in the product and i'm like really? And he's like, yeah. And so I said, well, that's awesome. I said, do you know how to do a three-way phone call? And he goes, I think I could figure it out. And I'm like, okay, well, we scheduled a time today. And I said, I want you to introduce me to your mom and, and introduce me to your friend. And so literally we did a back-to-back three-way phone call with his mom. She enrolled at bronze with vibe and topical. And then his friend did the exact same thing. And so this guy who has not had good product experiences yet is now an associate today. And not because of my sophisticated follow-up or anything I said or did is because other people knew he was using this product and they're intrigued and they have a need and they've tried other stuff that hasn't worked. And it just was a reminder to me that I just need to do a better job. Because if we don't, if we keep it to ourselves, then nobody knows. And so, yeah, in fact, you know, um, I was kind of looking for him to be on the call, um, but I'll introduce you to him at another time. And I said, I just want y'all, I want you to meet my team because then you'll know that it's not just me, that I'm not just crazy, that there are other people who've had tremendous results with this. So that's what we're for. You can bring your skeptics and your naysayers on this call and we will love on them. So uh, that was kind of the cool, unexpected thing that happened to me today. Um, but the, any other comments before we move on? Because I'm keeping an eye on time and I want to talk about Amalaki powder and vibe. Lisa, Lisa you talked about he didn't feel a difference. Jean and Lori can tell you how bad I was and how I didn't think it was making a difference. And I didn't reorder. I can't remember if it was the first time or the second time. Anyway, then I started to feel worse and I could see a difference. My immune system, basically I had been dying. So, you know, <laughs> there's a lot to come back for. And um, if you could just encourage him and tell him I can think, do all kinds of things now. List goes on and on what I can do now. But I needed the encouragement. How long, did it, how long did it take you? I don't know. It took, I was off of it 
for a couple of months. I did the I did the months and it didn't I wasn't really seeing any results, I thought. But other people could see some and I thought it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just saying that, you know, just being polite kind of stuff. But it was so minute to me that I didn't and, and Jean would slather topical on my hand or whatever. Didn't phase me. I was that and had that much inflammation and everything. Mm. And now I can use little bits. But back then it's like, you know, I, I needed a gallon jar. I <laughs> just and maybe it would maybe it would help. Um, but we've heard over and over and over and over again that these products are adaptogens. And they are. And they're not cures. But when I saw what it was doing with Lori and then Jean with the pain in the shoulder and the, the stuff like that, I finally got convinced to give it a try. But um, I have not been a one night wonder, a overnight wonder by any means. Mm -hmm. It's been very progressive and it's been a long journey, but it's been worth every bit of it. And I didn't used to be able to talk. I could talk 90 miles an hour now and remember most of it or if not all of it, and tell you what you said a lot of times. Not if I'm not too tired, but I couldn't keep two words together before. Wow. So just encouraging, there's people on your team that really thought it was a crock <laughs> and figured out it wasn't. <laughs> I gave it a shot because I saw good results of other people, but my body had had so much trauma, mm. so much trauma. It's just been a long journey, but it's worth, every bit of it. Well, that's a great point. You know, um, your point about Amalaki, weren't you, didn't you say something about Amalaki? Yes, I did. The Amalaki um, helped me with my IBS Energy. problems and everything with the liquid. And I, it was really helping my, I could not get regulated because my, my system was really screwed up and I had to have a lot of antibiotics for the tick diseases. So I, I got to the point where I could not be regular the way I need to. It just, things were weird. And it looked a lot like IBS and stuff. There's damage done. And the Amalaki, when we started off in the bottles and I started getting it, um, that helped a lot. But Gene brought over about a week ago. Um, he and Lori came over and there was a bag of Amalaki. And like I said, I still have to pay them. But um, I was so glad, and I haven't gotten Anna to try it yet, but the energy I got out of the Amalaki, and then we had it the birthday night, I couldn't sleep. That was the one I decided to try, thinking, okay, I'm not going to have Edge, I'm going to have Amalaki. I needed sleep, but there was no way I was sleeping, not for till like it was almost time to get up. But it, it hit me that, that well. And so now I love having it in the morning. I add it to uh, my glow and shield and that. I don't use the vibe as much. I like the vibe, I think more for the, I like the combination, but I still get more out of the glow and the shield. And then you add the Amalaki to it and woo, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that, but Mary. It's really Appreciate helped my guts though as well. It's really, really helped my guts. That's phenomenal. Well, I love hearing about it. And while we're on the topic of Amalaki, I just want to tell you, you guys might already know this, but I'm, I have sworn off juice because I just, um, it's pure carbs. It hits blood sugar and it can create havoc like fruit juices, orange juice. You know, I just, I don't do juices. And so with Amalaki, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this cause it's kind of a juice. And, uh, and so Hal just kept talking about Amalaki and just how much he loved it and how much energy it's given him. And so I decided the other day that I'm going to, try Amalaki. And so I mixed a powder pack with 16 ounces of water. But before I did that, I got the bag, the Amalaki bag, and I started looking at it. Do you guys know how many calories? Don't look. Do you know how many calories are in one pack? 15. 15? 25. Close. Oh, close. Do you know how many total carbohydrates are in one powder pack? Two. So there's five grams of carbs, but there's three grams of dietary fiber, which means five minus three, there's two effective grams of carbs in Amalaki, 
which also total sugar is less than one gram. This is my new beverage of choice. All of that to say that I'm trying to do liquids before lunch. So this, this is part of my, this is six, I mix it with 16 ounces of, of just water. And this has no effect on your insulin system because there's no sugar and there's only two grams of carbs with good fiber. So I was like amazed that this is such a pristine. And then when you look at all the ingredients that are in it, all the good things going into your body, I was just really, really amazed by it. And I don't know if you guys knew that before I did, this is only like how long after launch that I started looking at it seriously. But I honestly think this is, this needs to be kind of a beverage of choice um, because of all the good things that are going in it. Now, edge is also great. It's, you know, it's got a lot of B12 um, and a little bit of caffeine, but I think Amalaki from just a good for you beverage ranks above edge. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Anybody else like it? Don't like it? Okay, so I've, I been, love kind of, it. I've been kind of on the fence with it because sometimes it, the sucralose kind of messes with my sugars. But I mixed, I like to make green smoothies for breakfast. That's my breakfast of choice. Okay. And I'm telling you, I mixed kale with a half of a, uh, well, with a banana and with a half of an um, avocado and with amalaki and that is like the best tasting it's like a milkshake because of the texture it was awesome it was a great so, very big breakfast kale banana avocado half an auto avocado yep. and then and amalaki. Amalaki. the it whole thing awesome. i'm telling you it was awesome that's great that's good that's a good recommendation <laughs> awesome anybody else with amalaki want to share how they're doing on it lisa steve dr todd uh, I, I like mixing amalaki uh, with edge together. <laughs> hey, you don't, you know, I, I just, the simpler the better for me. So I like the fact I can, and you don't, I, and sometimes at practicing and learning, I only use a half a packet of amalaki and then the whole thing of edge, mix it together. And that, and that just, you can just feel it, keep you going. So, I mean, that's, that's that's another way. You mix these powders together. You don't have to take them individually. Just mix and match what works for you. You can't overdose, overdose with cannabinoids and any of this stuff. So don't even worry about that. Actually, sometimes it's better to have a little bit more. So it's okay. Right. That's great. And they had a great auto ship special with the Amalaki as well, with Amalaki and Edge. So hopefully you guys were able to take advantage of that. Um, so wholesale price with Amalaki powder is $70 preferred price, 89 retail, 99, 90, uh, 42 BV. Just want to make sure that everybody's familiar with the pricing on Amalaki. Um, yeah, we we're really enjoying Amalaki. I think this is going to be a, a real keeper. So, um, the other thing I wanted to mention, and this was kind of five, seven mil bottles was launched on Monday and it was just kind of a nice to know kind of thing. It wasn't really emphasized, but Hal and I've talked a lot about, you know, just in our market here, you know, doing some educational events. And if you've got a lot of people, it would make sense to have the seven mil vibes because really it seems to me that people benefit from two to three drops of vibe. Like you don't need like major, like what the label says for vibe that you do a lot better with smaller doses of it. Have you guys found that to be true? Jenny, I see you're nodding. And so my thought is, you know, if we, and, and I don't have yet a price for the case of vibe seven mils, but I, it might make sense if the wholesale price is 39 99, you know, the casing price would be less than that. And let's say you priced it at the forty-seven ninety-nine preferred price for for a seven mil. It seems to me that would be the best way to introduce cannabinoid therapy to the masses at a point where you're not losing money. They're not having to commit, you know, to a whole, you know, hundred and whatever, hundred fifty nine, two hundred dollar bottle, thirty mil bottle, uh, just to get some experience. Um, to me, that's kind of what we're thinking about as just a really good way to start introducing Vibe now that we have a seven mil and we're using less of it. I just wanted to throw that out there and see if there's any thoughts on that. 
I agree 100%, Lisa. Okay. Well, you guys, you guys are in the know. Um, right now, we just have a onesie price of thirty nine ninety nine, uh, which doesn't give you a huge margin uh, or much profit at all with the forty seven ninety nine preferred price. So we're we're reaching out to support to ask for the case pricing, and I'm I'm going to post that as soon as I have it. But I think it makes more sense to buy a case at a time, and with our goal being whatever it is, let's say it's twelve in a month, twelve in six months. It's, it's going to make more profit for individuals to have a, a cheaper price per unit so that you're covering your cost on that. Um, so that's really kind of what's going on with products, what's going on with business. And, and this is a strong recommendation is I just posted on team unlimited, the triple generational quota, every single rank has a different goal for the number of auto ships that you have. And if you've been in the business longer, you're just going to have more, more auto ships accumulated. So it's not a real huge number of auto ships. The, tr the, the, the challenge is that you need at least $299 in new sales, everything under area. And then at area and above, it's $499. But that's not a ton. Like $499 is one silver. $299 is one bronze. And so literally, if you can train yourself to do whatever level of work and funnel to, to produce that much revenue, then that is what my, my strong recommendation is for you and for your teams, because a triple generational bonus can make a huge difference. I wanted to shout out to Susan and the Todd's uh, for hitting the triple generational bonus. Um, I know Susan, you, um, you were very strategic. Uh, we talked through the numbers. I mean, she's a numbers person. And, and so, you know, it made sense for her to do what she needed to do in order to hit the goal because um, she was going to make some money and almost like get free product for hitting that triple generational. And I, I just thought that was super smart. If you have a question about how to calculate it or how to do it or how to strategize, this is really what has made the huge, the, the biggest difference for Hal and my, our, my This is what has made Zelise a sustainable platform financially for us to do this more than less. And what I know about the future is that the new comp plan, and that's coming hopefully, but before the end of the year, will reflect what's going on with triple generational. So if we learn it, if we do it, if we teach it, we're going to have more stories, not just about product and platform, but also about the income as well. And, and, because there's a lot of people in corporate America, trust me, that don't want to have to work 10 hours and live three. And, and that is not fun. And, and I have a lot of empathy now for the people who, who I see that are stuck there. So um, triple generational, just really, really pay attention to what that means for your business. And if you don't know, just text me. I know you guys always go, Lisa, you're so busy. And I am busy. I'm just intentional. So if you text me, I'll put you on my schedule, right, Susan Everett? Ask Susan what time she has to meet with me on Tuesdays. 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm happy to do it too, to get your time. Are you kidding? It's worth it. <laughs> so I usually am driving into work at 6.30 a.m. I'm like, okay, who wants on my schedule? Well, we just do it when we can. And uh, my whole life has changed going back to work, but I've, I figured that I, if I can do it, you know, anybody can do it. And we don't make calls to other people. We just make calls to each other. So join us guys. Let's get some triple generational going and let's create some income stories so that we can help other people. And that's really what I got guys. I just wanted to really thank you. Um, I did hear a quote I know, Judy, you had said you are not doing the business as fast as you like. And um, I want to just make a comment about that because I think every single one of us would say that. You're just very transparent in saying it. And what I would say to you is the time is almost right for us to all put more energy and effort into this. And we're keeping our pulse on Zelise Corporate. Um, uh, let me end the call real quick here. Hang on a second.